thank you for that. Uh, let's return to news and weather here in Indiana, where it is hot. Mm -hmm. Toasty out there today. Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown joining us now, and uh, not much relief in sight. Mm -mm. No, a 90 again today. Tomorrow, I think we make it to the mid 90s, and by Friday, I think it's possible that we hit the upper 90s. Mm. Heat index values today in the upper 90s, triple digits this weekend. So. Wow. Getting very warm out there. Here's the difference in this forecast, though. Um, as far as it being hot, yesterday we were hot, right? We only made it to the mid-80s. It didn't feel as bad. Mm -hmm. Today, we bring you the heat. We bring you the humidity. Um, and we even have a few isolated downpours developing because of it. So, Will that active. cool things down a little bit? In some areas, okay. briefly. There is nothing that can really cool mm -hmm. us down at this point. No. We're just we're hot just in there. We're just moving on yep. up. All right, so as we look at the isolated downpours on radar, we have some isolated downpours sitting uh, to the north and um, one sitting near Richmond, as you can see, south of Interstate 70 there. So just kind of zoom into that heavier downpour. Um, this one, a few strikes of lightning, Richmond uh, 27 up to around Richmond, uh, moving along the state line, um, along Interstate 70 there near Waterloo. Also a pretty good downpour. You can see it here north of Marion, Columbia City, a downpour for you. How long will these downpours stick around? Futurecast, our forecasting model showing this system um, kind of sticking with us through about sunset tonight. And once we get to sunset, we're still uh, partly cloudy. I think there's some locations north of Interstate 70. Your skies will become mostly clear. The areas where we see the clearing are the areas I concern, I'm concerned about seeing some patchy fog develop in the overnight hours. Not widespread at all. I think mainly north as we see some clearing happening there. Right now, we hit 90 at the 4 o'clock hour. 90 for Indy. 90 for you in Muncie and about 93 as we look to Fort Wayne. These temperatures, they are well above average for this time of year. They're driven by a south wind that sits over the area. And of course today, although we had the battle between sun and clouds, we got enough sunshine to warm things up. Heat index values, what it feels like. This is the only number that matters right about now. It feels like it's 97 in Indianapolis, 93 in Columbus, 91 as we look to Washington, Indiana. Temperatures remain very warm through the evening hours. If you're a person that you have plans tonight, maybe um, eating dinner outdoors, I wouldn't recommend it. Mowing the lawn tonight, I wouldn't recommend it. It's hot, it's humid, it makes it uncomfortable for you. So limit your time outdoors and drink plenty of water if you have to be out. This evening, we're still in the upper 80s at 8 p.m. That doesn't change. The sun will set in the 9 o'clock hour at around 916. From there, temperatures drop down to the 80s. This is still very warm for an overnight low. So we're warm. We're muggy tonight. Overnight temperatures dropping down to the low to mid 70s once again tonight. And tomorrow starting your day with temperatures in the 70s. Tomorrow is a day that we warm quickly. We're going to make it to the upper 80s to right around 90 by the lunch hour. Feeling like 93. Temperatures will peak at around 95 tomorrow on your Thursday, making it the warmest day of the year if we get there, but also feeling like 99 to around the triple digits there, so bringing heat and humidity for your Thursday. I think the warmest day this week will come our way on Friday. Friday, 96, the record at 98, set back in 1988. So, warmest day of the year on Thursday, and then we beat that on Friday, making Friday the warmest day of the year. I do think it will get better this weekend. Hensley Legal Group, eight day forecast. Some relief in the forecast this weekend as the front slides through on Sunday, bringing showers, storms, and temperatures in the upper 80s to start your work week next week.